Okay, uh, take three, five, four, three, Hi, this is Dan Smigfrod. I'm the founder of the Matterport User Group Forum, and joining me is We Get Around uh, Associate Photographer and Chief Architect Jair Japez, and uh, we're giving you a little hollow uh, lens uh, experience today. So uh, Jair is actually wearing the Microsoft uh, Hollow Lens uh, Developer Edition. Hello, everyone. And then on our uh, uh, laptop here, excuse me, on our uh, Microsoft uh, Surface. Uh, we're seeing a little edited view of what Jair's actually seen. So you see on this, on the, on, if, if you're, it's a little bit hard to explain, but if you're watching the surface, you see a ballerina on the screen, and sh she is actually a hollow, a hologram. So there is a little latency in what we're doing here in terms of, there's no latency for Jair within the HoloLens experience, but there is latency of what we're actually experiencing on the screen. It's kind of, think of it as a, a few second tape delay in terms of how all this works. Anyway, it's prob probably too much detail. But the, the, the point is, there's a ballerina dancing on top of this table, and then next to the ballerina, next to Alexandria is William, and William's actually a, a break dancer. So we got uh, two different things going on here. Uh, which is cool. So, uh, and they're dancing on the table. So, how did Jair get a ballerina and uh, Alexandria and William uh, dancing here on the table at uh, at our in, uh, in our uh, Atlanta Tech Village offices in one of our conference rooms? So, uh, Jair, how about taking us through the menu of uh, of how you actually got the ballerina there? Now, what what did you call that? That was a. So this is just a bloom gesture that takes you to the main menu, the start menu of Windows Holographic, and you can see it right there on the screen. Uh, of course, for me, it's floating in front of me, but you're looking what I'm looking to uh, through this screen. So in, 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 the, in that HoloLens, Jair actually sees the entire environment. He sees this entire room, but he has a layer on top of it, and that layer on top is actually a, a hologram that's projected. So, and in fact, over there in that corner, that was kind of cool. We have a toolbox for uh, developing within the uh, HoloLens experience. And we'll, we'll show you that in another video. That was kind of a little, I guess, a tease. That's the toolbox for a developer and all the tools uh, for, for doing stuff. It, and it's way cool. Uh, but you know, for the moment, what we're gonna do is say, Jair, show us how you got uh, uh, Alexandria and William dancing on the table. Oh, and interesting, you're actually mapping the space right now. Yeah, just remapping, as you can see, uh, every time that I click, the IR sensors that are very similar to the Matterport camera or any Kinect, uh, they scan the room and they have a very good idea of how the surfaces work. So once that we have that scan, we can bring any of our holograms that we have on this screen that you're gonna see in the, in the, in the surface monitor yes. in a second. Yes. And you can grab them and put them wherever you want. All right, so let's Just get Alexander. Uh, okay, so you took a puppy dog. And we can put him right there on the table. Okay. And then adjust its size, rotation, and everything else. So one of the, one of the cool things, even as Jair has the puppy dog on the table, he can actually walk all the way ar around the puppy dog. I, I guess I'm actually kind of interrupted what's going on there by putting my hand into the environment, but at least you know it, it's not a real puppy dog. Or, well, it barks, maybe it is. So uh, the, 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 the way cool thing is when, once Jair puts the puppy dog on the table, uh, he can literally walk around the puppy dog and see it from all angles. And it, it incidentally, for, for Matterport User Group uh, Forum community members, you know, some of the challenges you have with surfaces that don't, the infrared doesn't seem to, you know, work great, glass, mirrors, uh, daylight, etc. We actually have the same challenge with this black surface where it's a little bit hard for the HoloLens actually to map this room with this table. But Jair's managed to do it, and he was able to uh, take the, uh, the ballerina from the menu, place her on the table, uh, take William, place him on the table, and place the puppy dog on, on the table as well. Exactly, so that's the power of holograms. Uh, it's not only a device that puts information into the environment, it also takes information from the environment, in this case, the geometry and 
plays and mixes it together with our holograms, that they are already valuable information in and of itself. Yeah, you know, and I, I think I would add, Jair, Jair is the, uh, you know, th this, is, this is such a surreal experience because we're trying to explain or show what a three-dimensional, what we, we might in our world think of virtual reality, but it's actually mixed reality, augmented, uh, it's, it's reality, augmented reality on top of it. And uh, it's almost impossible for us to explain what that experience is. It's, it's that different. It's so different. Uh, but we're trying to do our best. And I guess Jair just took a little break. He's watching some uh, YouTube, uh, maybe some CNN up on the wall there. And Jair, you know, that TV said, I can't see it where it is. Maybe you could just move it into a different spot. So he's going to just actually take the TV set and uh, physically move it to a different place. He can actually resize the television. Uh, and put it in a different place, and uh, you know, voila. So I, I, I think you get the idea. Uh, uh, I think you know one thing I, I'd like to say, Jair, is this bloom thing. Is you know that's going to be the gesture that you're going to start to see people just do this, and and that's going to mean something to you and to other people that you're walking around and you're going like this, and and, and for a while, that's gonna kind of be the, the insider, uh, you know, instead of, uh, I don't know, you know, love, peace, whatever, it's gonna be this this bloom symbol because that's what you used to open and close stuff. So anyway, uh, I'm Dan Smigrod, founder of the Matterport User Group Forum, and uh, joining me for this uh, demonstration of the Microsoft HoloLens and a little piece of the, this, the Microsoft Surface here is uh, Ben Jair Japez, uh, he is a uh, We Get Around uh, Associate Photographer and Chief Architect, and uh, we'll continue to do some demos. We just wanted to kind of give you a, t a taste of uh, what this virtual reality experience, or excuse me, this uh, HoloLens experience uh, feels like. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much, guys. Stay tuned.